SQL programming and database design using Microsoft SQL Server 2012. This is Karl Mantov. This is my new book. It is available on Amazon.com and also in your local bookstore. This building is Citibank building at the end of Wall Street. Wall Street is here. Very memorable building because I was here on September 11 on the 22nd floor before being bombed out by terrorists. Let's consider pivot tables. So to check out pivot tables, how to use, we need a data source. So we get a data source, an SSAS OLAP cube from analysis services. This is the name of a server, SQL Server. Next. We can connect to the OLAP cube or we can connect to a perspective. Let's connect to a perspective channel sales. Next finish and uh, here is a pivot table okay so we are in pivot table and uh, we have a channel sales perspective from the adventure works sample SSAS OLAP cube so let's select a measure for values that's the indication of sum, indication of aggregation. For example, let's select the sales amount. And this automatically pops into values. We can also drag it over to values. And this measure is reseller sales. So now we want to show fields related to reseller sales just to make sure that when we are selecting the dimensions for categorizing for analyzing the sales we are selecting something which is related so for example let's uh, select sales territory for rows and country so we drag it in and uh, for column let's select time dimension calendar year calendar year so let's select delivery date calendar year for column labels and we see the aggregate data is being distributed now by year, calendar year, and also by country. This is an interactive report. We can drill down, for example, in Europe. We see further breakdown of the data by France, Germany, and uh, United Kingdom. We have one more box which we did not fill out and uh, that's report filter. So we can filter this report by um, some dimension by selecting certain values of that dimension. So let's select for filtering category to report filter. So here it is, it's all products now. We drill down and select only bikes. And we'll see the figures repainting smaller because we only selected bikes instead of all products. When we are finished, uh, we can close the pivot table field list 
and we are ready to do the analysis of the sales data by uh, the time dimension year and uh, the geography dimension. For example, we can drill down United Kingdom, there is no possibility of drilling down. Let's drill down in North America and here we see United States, probably we can drill down, not likely in Canada, but in the United States there must be sales regions, central, northeast, northwest, southeast, southwest. In summary, Excel pivot table in conjunction with SSAS OLAP cube as data source is an excellent way of uh, analyzing data. It's an excellent way of uh, doing business intelligence which can be used uh, for uh, improved business operations. This is the end of a short demo.